first off, I've been an EMT just for a little bit in. Like, I ain't never experienced nothing like this. So, so as we driving back to base, I swear I seen a face in the rearview mirror. What up home slices, what up home fries, and what up homes of other varieties? Do you know what time it is? Do you know what time it is? It is paranormal reaction time, yay! Okay, but with all seriousness, I will be reacting to Bizarre Bubs, one of their newest video compilations of paranormal caught on camera. And of course, of course, as I'm making this video, they just uploaded a new one. So maybe I'll react to that too. They're short, simple, and I like their videos. So, and plus this was recommended by one of you guys, one of you amazing peeps. So uh, thank you for the recommendation. As always, I will have my channel notes on Patreon so you can look at it. Typically these come out before I release the video. So if you're somebody that's on Patreon already, you kind of know what I'm gonna say in the video before it's out. So you're welcome. <laughs> um, but yeah, there are some sketches on here that I might show in the video, but I will release all of my notes again on Patreon. And again, it's only a dollar to join as a minimum. So why not, right? And if you're new here, don't forget to like this video and subscribe, especially if you like this content because I post this type of content all the time. And uh, let's just jump into this. Here we go, we're gonna roll the footage. I don't know if you see it, but can, can y'all see that back door? Like, it just, oh, sh like it just flew open, like. Oh. No, nah, what the? F what was that? Can you see it? Nah, hell no. Nah. Hey, nah. It's no wonder why the EMT was immensely afraid of going back to the ambulance. Something appears to have been inside. Although we don't see a face as the EMT claims to have seen earlier, we do see what looks like a shadowy figure moving back and forth. So this one is actually, okay. The guy, his reaction, I understand. He's in an alley way, kind of, it's dark, it's creepy, and he's probably not used to the paranormal or having anything happen like that. So his reaction is valid. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I get the feeling that multiple people died in that ambulance and not only that there has been a lot of trauma pain and suffering that has taken place inside that tiny space which naturally produces negative residual energy and it just leaves all that stuff behind and due to the space being so small and energy being concentrated the energy is pretty dense, so seeing fractals or residual energy and or earthies is honestly to be expected. I don't get the sense there's anything evil or malevolent. No demonic things, not even thought forms. Um, there's no evil going on there. But like I said, if you're someone who's not used to experiencing paranormal activity, yeah, it can be... Uh, very scary. But yeah, I mean, I did see the man. I saw the man even kind of like before the video started. Like once I saw the guy talking like, I saw this. I'm like, oh, there's a man in there. And the only thing I will say too, if that guy still 
kept his job. If he doesn't, I'd understand why again. From the experience, my message to him would be, don't be afraid. You are safe, but be prepared because working in any type of medical field, whether it be a paramedic or ambulance driver or doctor, you are prone to paranormal experiences, especially if you are around lots of trauma, suffering, and death. But yes, there is a male earthy in there. He's got brown hair, light complexion, hazel eyes. His eyes are like this bluish grayish green and it's like a medium shade. It's almost like the same color as my eyes. He's got long tannish green pants. It's like that weird beigey color, but it's got like that hint of green in it. He's got leather shoes or at least shoes that look leather and they're dark. And then his shirt is on the lighter end. I'm not quite sure if it's like a white or an off-white or a cream, but it's lighter than his pants. And he's giving like late 40s to maybe early 50s. But that's all I got in this situation. Earlier, they heard a loud crash from downstairs and other noises emanating from all over the house. They had thought someone had broken in, which is why the police were called. Did it sound glass? Was it metal? What, what did it sound like? And it was just like a, a big thud and then... So you heard glass shatter? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now this is where things started to get strange, because apparently, after searching the whole place, the police found no signs of forced entry or any clues to suggest that someone broke into the house. The teens noticed something very alarming. Before the police arrived, all three friends decided to investigate the noises and presumably take matters into their own hands if needed. But during this time, something happens that prompts the friend who lives in this house to grab his dog and pack his things. They were spooked, to say the least. This is what they caught. Apparently, one of the friends had noticed something moving in the dark. Although we don't see it on camera, something else is seen that none of the friends had noticed until watching this video much later. In case you missed it, this is what was caught. Eerily, something can be seen moving behind the railing. In a swift motion, this mysterious object passes by without making a sound. It almost seems to be floating given how it seemingly glides. But by far, the creepiest thing about this is that a face can be made out. It's hard to see at first, but watching this again, certain features that a face would have can be seen briefly. Its uncanny motion and closeness to the ground have led the group to believe that a ghost was caught on camera. Now this next one was a little bit harder for me to get information. Um, part of that has to do with being put to sleep. Again, I got to the point where I kept digging and digging and digging for information that it just made me tired and the things going on in that house was also draining me and my body started to hurt so of course I went to my bed to see if I could channel and we all know if I go to the bed to try to channel, uh, yeah, I'm gonna fall asleep. But it doesn't help that I was drained as well. But so there's other forms of paranormal activity going on in that house. It's not just that one incident. I wouldn't be surprised if they catch more or they have more information to share about other experiences. But I do see objects moving around, other kinds of sounds, not just crashing sounds like knocking and like taps and like the sound of glass moving around. Um, the lights, I got a lot of emphasis on the lights. Um, stressful dreams, not always nightmares but dreams that induce stress but I wouldn't be surprised too if there were nightmares going on as well and the appearance of like shadowy figures and things moving out of the corner of their eyes etc temperature fluctuations pareidolia now if you don't know what pareidolia is it's basically when you see images and your brain tries to put them together 
to make sense of it and sometimes when it does that you see faces and things but in this sense it's like that mixed with like that paranoia feeling mixed with like that energy like something's about to happen and when you put them together it's kind of I wouldn't say it's all pareidolia, pareidolia, but sometimes entities can make this happen to give you more of this fear. Especially if they don't have the power to cast illusions or trick you and shapeshift as much, because that takes a lot of energy, right? So sometimes they'll try to manipulate your emotions and the energy around you to have it give off a certain vibe, knowing that you'll have experiences of pareidolia, if that makes sense. I hope it makes sense. But I get a lot of that. And then something specifically going on with the lamp or the lamps, because I kept seeing an image of a lamp. I don't know what was going on with the lamp, but there's something going on with the lamp. And again, it could just be the flickering or maybe there's a lot of energy going around with the lamp. I don't know. And I also saw a car. It was just like your stereotypical looking car. So they are bringing attention to a car. And then I was getting headaches and migraines and fatigue. But so in the little circle in the video, as you have seen, um, you see something kind of like going across the upstairs, like behind the railings. And it looks like a face, but in my head or through my clairvoyance, it didn't, I wasn't getting like a human. It's giving non-human, not demonic, but non-human, this gremlin looking entity but again, I'm not 100% sure because it was so hard to get information. Sometimes that's just how it is. I'm not going to lie and be like, it's this for sure. I'm not 100% sure if this is what it actually is. But I got a quick, quick flash of what I thought it was. And this is what it looked like. But it was tiny, like a toddler. Or like a little, I don't know, the thing from Harry Potter the house elf thing it's like that size but it looks like that again i'm not 100 percent sure on the type of non-human entity i mean it could very well be a descended earthy but i don't think it is i think it's non-human i just don't know the type of non-human whether it's like an elemental fey type variety not sure but there's something there um, it's energy is very chaotic and all over the place. It's giving like hurricane or destruction like a cat. You know how you have some spazzy cats that'll jump on your counter and knock glasses off the counter. It's giving that kind of mischievous vibe. It doesn't feel like evil, downright demonic, malevolent kind of shit. It's just very like, I don't know, mischievous. So that's why I was kind of leaning more towards like an elemental fey variety. Um, there are things like bogarts, which are of that category, that can cause issues in a person's house. And they can be very malevolent and very chaotic. But this isn't giving crazy malevolent vibes. This is, again, very mischievous could be shapeshifter, but again, not sure. Look, you guys, it rocks, but then it stops on its own when I come outside. Let's see if I could get it on camera. There's like no wind. That's <gasps> I know, Blue, someone's there, huh? I know, I know, I don't know why it does that. It does it every time, you guys, this is the third time. I can't believe I caught it on camera. All right, so we have this rocking chair outside and it's moving back and forth so right at the introduction of this clip you see the chair and the dog like staring at it well even though the dog was kind of staring at the chair i my attention was first brought to more in the yard near that blue thing that almost looks like a dumpster not sure what it is but more in the yard i see a man standing there 
So I wasn't sure if at first it was the man using like energy to move the chair or if someone was sitting in it. Again, this one was a little harder to get a read on the chair, but eventually I got something. But the thing in the chair has a long natted like hair and it's very foggy. So I couldn't tell if the hair was like gray or like salt and pepper colored or if it was like the haziness or the fogginess of how I'm seeing this but it does feel like there is an earthy sitting there and it looks like it's tinkering with something in its hands whether it's knitting or just has something in its hands messing with it I'm not sure of the gender because all I see is the back of its head and you can't tell whether or not it's male or female just based on the length of the hair because men can have long hair too. But I did start getting a sharp pain in my left clavicle area, like right here, which is weird. I never have pain there, ever. Um, and the neck and upper chest. This feeling is very weird and it's got like this internal fuzzy staticky sensation inside my body. And I get head pain, leg joint and nerve pain, and then rib pain. So I feel like whether it's some kind of like something that causes coughing or like an upper respiratory situation or something in the lungs, and that's how that person passed. Again, not sure, but honestly, the person in the yard further in was more clear. And again, it was a male and I could see the clothes. They were wearing darker clothes and it was very hazy. So I don't know if it was like a navy blue or dark blue or like black. It was hard to tell, but I could see that much at least. So yes, definitely something going on. And our animals are really good at picking energy fluctuations up and they have spiritual eyes for the most part. So they can see ghosts and spirits and things like that especially when they're very dense in energy so a lot of times they can see earthbound spirits um a lot of times they can see malevolent entities especially since their energies are really dense too so keep that in mind always pay attention to your animals it seems to have been posted by someone who was either at a clinic or a hospital sitting patiently in the waiting room however something about this space just seems off the person who took this seems to have been waiting here for quite some time, with no one else around. Lacking other people in this room, the video gets a whole lot strange when this is captured. Take a look. Somehow, a shadow appears with no one else around. The whole space is entirely devoid of any patients, yet strangely, a silhouette is cast. All right, so we're in a hospital. So remember what I said about the ambulance? Same thing applies. You have a lot of illness, pain, suffering, sometimes death. In hospitals, you probably have a lot of death. So seeing anything paranormal doesn't surprise me. Honestly, I'd expect it. So... It's funny because you know how they have the little introduction of each clip, right? So it's like they don't play the full clip, they'll have like it frozen. Well, at that point, I'm like, there it is. I, I saw it even before the video. But yeah, definitely an earthy. Um, they passed from some sort of head issue, whether it was trauma or, or an illness. But I kept feeling like the sharp pain on the top portion of my head. So it was like here, here, and then like, a little bit here and I was feeling flushed like I was sick or like had a fever so I feel like it was something to that effect meningitis came to mind but I don't even I'm not sure I'm not even gonna say it's that I just feel like something to do with the head 
but again, it's it's not surprising to have any issues. And actually, that location has more than one earthy. But that one is the most prominent because the energy is the thickest. Because here, there's nothing. Huh? Tampoco. Yeah. Here, tampoco hay nada. Aquí, pues, tampoco. Acá el lugar es bastante pequeño, ya está mi reflejo. Pero me voy. Escuchar. Escuchar. As if it wasn't already startling to hear the banging noises, we see this: a face suddenly appearing in a stall that was clearly empty. It happens quickly, but not so fast that we miss it. Only do we realize what was seen until after it happens. Or at least, that's what happened with Axel, who was left terrified by what was caught behind the door. Like something out of a nightmare, a pale face with wide open eyes just disappears without a trace. Okay, so this bathroom one. The first thing that popped in my brain right before the video played was residual energy. And I was like, okay. So then I watched the video. It it seems more chaotic or worse than it really is. And there's a lot of illusion going on here. So the face that was seen through the bars of the stall, or at least through the walls of the stall, and like the crack with the face, uh, so... Spirit was saying that's very illusionary. Is that even a word? I don't know. But if it isn't, I just made one up, I guess. But it looks like it's an illusion casted by the reflection of the right part of the shiny wall on the inside of the stall. And it's catching the metal and the dark objects inside of it. In addition to the phone's camera plus the light, whether it's coming from the camera or the bathroom, plus pareidolia, because you hear the knocks. It's setting the stage and giving like this creepy vibe already. And then you just happen to see like a creepy face, which I don't think the video was staged in any way. I think he adamantly felt like he saw a face. And the knocking sounds or the weird sounds, for whatever reason, and Spirit's telling me it's from a natural cause that's not paranormal. Weird shit happens in my house all the time with the bathrooms. And I feel like it has to do with how the water travels up the pipes. And it has like a vibration sound that hits the walls or is trapped in the walls. And it makes those sounds. But I, other than residual energy, I don't feel like there was an entity per se in the bathroom not gonna lie when i saw it, i was really creeped out but i went back in and i kind of slowed the video down to 0.25 speed to look and while it does look like a face it looks more of an illusion caught by the reflection of the stall and your brain trying to like complete the image that's being portrayed through the crack if that makes sense that's what it feels like but like i said i could be wrong um this is just what i'm picking up if you're a medium and you feel otherwise let me know down below because let's be real i'm not perfect okay so what i might get other people might not or what I don't get, other people will. So if you see something different or disagree with anything I say in my video, leave it down below. I always like to see other people's perspectives. It's always a great learning opportunity. So don't hesitate to leave it down below if you're like, well, actually, when I meditate or when I channel, I see this. Lay it, lay it on me, man. Lay it on me. But yeah, that's what I was getting for that. It's freaky stuff right there, man. <clears throat> yep, that's what you call. <sighs> I hate that. It freaks me out, man. It's getting goosebumps. Uh, 
look like. Here we go with the door now. door always swings wide open and it stays open. It doesn't ever close, stay like that. Oh, there you go. Let go of it. Oh crap, that's freaky. Now taking into account that this isn't something new to the man, this occurrence doesn't scare him, but he still finds it pretty baffling, and he finds it even more so when considering that the door that just opened is extremely heavy. According to him, he can barely open it himself despite being quite big. Now with happenings like this, one can totally understand why he and his family have left this place. So we're in this man's basement, and before the video started, I could already see things. If you look through that little doorway in the back, I could see somebody pacing. It's a man. It's an older man. He seems very grumpy too. But I could see him pacing back and forth. It isn't earthy. It's not non-human or evil or anything. He's just a grumpy old man. And he causes headaches and abdominal issues and fatigue. So if if the person or the owner of that video sees this video or any of the videos or any of the reactions to the videos I am, you know, going through here, please let me know if you can validate any of it. But yeah, earthy, grumpy old man. He's having a temper tantrum and he's throwing things off the shelves. And also he's doing it to get a fear response because he's feeding off of the energy of the people and the other things that live there because he needs that energy. So it doesn't surprise me. Um, it's interesting to note that he likes to stay mostly down in the basement. I'm not quite sure why that is. Did not get that information, but it looks like he spends most of the time downstairs. And I'm wondering too, like when he was alive, if he spent most of his time in the basement, um, or if he didn't live there, if he just feels more comfortable there. But the energy in that house is quite thick and it's even thicker in the basement. So I don't know, it's a thought. Maybe if he lived there, he spent most of his time there to get away from other family members and just to work on things. Or if he didn't live there, it's just a, an area he feels more comfortable and drawn to because it's with things he was or is used to when he was alive. But that's all I got for that one. But yeah, that one is legit. And while standing on her patio, something close by catches her attention. In fact, she was left shaken up after getting a clear view of what she was seeing. Taking a closer look, she sees this. Please tell me y'all see this. Just watch. Watch straight out into that yard. Look. You see it? Look. And it happens again. Look. 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 See? See? And I'm telling you right now, ignore my dogs. But look, man. I think it's time to move. Now without much lighting, it might be hard to spot what exactly was being seen, but with a few edits, it becomes apparent that something had appeared. It's as if someone or something dressed in white was in the distance. The storm in the yard. So the lady's like, okay, just watch. Puts the circle there on the, the footage, whatever, and you see the lightning go and you see the little white apparition. Yes. Um. So I was getting impressions that that property used to be a farm. And the person in the field is a woman around 18 to 20 years old. I'm bad with age, so plus or minus five years, I guess. And um, she used to tend to the farm and animals there. The energy is so thick there that it seems to be an earthy. But again, I'm not 100% sure because the way I was receiving the information made it feel more like residual energy, like an energetic imprint. So it's possible it could even be both. But I'm going to say um, there is something there, whether or not, you know, the lightning just, the light of the lightning hit the rain a certain way and it made it look like that. Regardless if that's true or not, there is energy there on that field and I did see the female. So 
take that how you will, I guess. <laughs> but there is something definitely there, energetically. Now this next video comes from Jalen Love, who although has no idea what was captured, is extremely unsettled by this footage. She claims that no one else had been in the house except her two sisters, who are seen on camera. They had just come back from somewhere at around 10 p.m. when the security camera inside their living room recorded the following. Now it's worth noting that this isn't the first time something scary had occurred. Only a few weeks prior to this incident, someone broke into their house. It's for this reason that they've set up cameras around their home in case it happens again. But this time, it appears that something else other than a burglar was captured. The two sisters enter inside, leaving the front door open for Jalen, who was still getting out of the car. As Jalen takes her time to come inside, this happens. Behind this door, a dark figure is seen. It's worth pointing out that no one is seen behind the door before it's open. Nothing apparent stands out until something eventually does. Whatever this is just stands there while seemingly hiding itself from the camera, or at least a part of it, as only partially do we see the figure. Seeing this, Jalen and her sisters were freaked out. This one was another one where, like, as the introduction was going of the clip, I could already see what was going on. Um. So the energy in that house is so thick. So I know in the video, they kind of focus to behind the door, but what I was seeing was in front of the door and I even saw a face in that energy. And I did take a screenshot. So I will put it in here somewhere and see if I can, um, I'll do like a non-enhanced version, like just an unedited right straight clip from the video plus then an after enhanced one to see if it'll come out more efficiently so you guys can see what I see. But I definitely saw a face as it was like after the first one walked through the door and the second person was coming, I saw the face there. Um, also an earthy that caused that and there's other activity going on but this house does need a proper cleansing because that energy is so thick man and not only that it's like the residual energy and the earthy are potentially causing health issues so and making pre-existing ones worse there's definitely fatigue and head and back pain going on um, because the energy is so thick, I feel like it's going to be multiple health issues. So I feel like it might be stomach, head, back, maybe even the whole body. But that is something to take note of. They should definitely do some cleansings. The earthy might be a little pain in the butt to get out. Also, there is a thought form type thing there, it feels. So it's not even just the one earthy. I feel like there's thought formy stuff too because that energy is so thick but the thought form thing that's there isn't very cohesive it's not fully developed yet it's on its way but it's not a hundred percent developed yet so yes that one is legit as far as the thing behind the door it's hard to tell if it's from what i'm seeing or if it almost looks like a refrigerator door opening. But again, I'm not sure about what's going on behind the door. I can only tell you what's going on in front of the door. Strange things often happen, and she doesn't know what to do. From a sliding cabinet door that is often found open after being closed shut, to mysterious noises heard at night, Isabel is certain that something unexplainable is happening. One night, while Isabel walks the family dog, her two children are alone at home when this is captured.
according to her, she had seen what looked like a tall figure standing inside the master bedroom. It wasn't exactly clear as her daughter states, but she knew something was there, and her sister can attest to this as she too had seen something tall inside the room. Following that, the sound of their cabinet door sliding open is heard on camera. Understandably, the whole family was freaked out, if not spooked by this incident. Not much else is known about this clip, but Isabel hopes that someone could explain her footage as she's not sure what to do or what was caught on camera. And then we have this last one with two young girls or young, young sisters where the little girl like is in to the left and she's screaming. So I do see the tall slender figure. It's pitch black, looks non-human. I do get burning pain on my right shoulder, which means this could also be a potential attachment situation. It does cause headaches and nightmares, and I feel like the little girl is more affected because her ego isn't fully developed, and she doesn't have her, um, her protective psychic barrier yet. So for her, it's going to be a bit worse, and it might affect her more. Um, it also feels like the parents, whether it's the mother or whoever else is there, but I feel like the mother is also affected a lot and she might have some messed up dreams and illnesses going on. Um, I feel in terms of illness, it's only affecting the mother. I don't really think it's affecting the daughters as much. I could be wrong, but it feels like it affects the mother more. Um, I'm not quite sure on the type of non-human entity. I'm leaning towards thought form. Not something that the family created or the little girl. The little girl does have very strong psychic energy that I feel like also causes poltergeist issues, but she did not cause what's going on in the house that made her scream. Um... It does feel very creepy. I wouldn't be surprised if the mother has um, explicit dreams or nightmares. That's all I'm going to say But um, in terms of that. But I feel like they really do need a cleansing, especially when children are involved. And I might be an attachment on the mother's side or at least a pending attachment, like it wants to attach to the mother, because I was feeling that burning on my shoulders. Um, but it's also at the house while the mother isn't. So I feel like it's something that did come in the space and it is trying to attach to the mother. So yeah, cleansings definitely are needed here as well. Honestly, all the places could benefit from the cleansings. But I feel like the last two need it the most out of all of them. But yeah, so it feels like with all of these, something paranormal is going on. It's just a different level of variation to like how bad. So Bizarre Bub, he's got some good footage in this video. 10 out of 10, really neat. So. I would definitely go on their channel and watch their video to its entirety just to give them their deserved views since all I'm doing is reacting to their work. So yeah, guys, always watch the original video of what I'm reacting to to give them um, their credit, their views, and stuff like that. So yes, I'm going to conclude this. This was very interesting. I'll probably do another one at some point to one of their newer videos, the one that probably just came out today. But yeah, guys, do you have any questions, comments, concerns regarding to what I said? Oh my God, my acid reflux is bad. Guys, also, I know I've stated this before, but if you hear any weird like gurgling noises, it's not paranormal. It is literally my acid reflux. It's so bad. You can catch it in the audio. <laughs> I don't know how to stop it. And half the time it's when I'm talking, so I can't edit it out. But I just want to point that out. I'm not going to be like, oh my god, it's paranormal, when I know damn well it's not. 
But yeah, if you were wondering what that sound is, it's my acid reflux. <laughs> and I'm so sorry about it. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will see y'all soon. Peace out.